Peggy 16. Hi guys, Ricky Martin here and welcome back. So, video games, they're just a form of casual media that sit parallel to TV shows and cinema that don't ask for that much engagement, right? Well, maybe that was once true, but now game developers are far more mindful and far more ambitious with what they try to do with their chosen medium. Today we're talking about Games for Change, the movement at the very heart of Bandai Namco, Digits Art Studio and Aardman's game collaboration. This is 11.11 Memories Retold, Behind the Scenes. Hey, hey! So my name is Jean-Michel Blotier. I'm the proud president of Games for Change Europe. In 2000, uh, we saw a group of intellectual researchers and academics uh, who were started to get really interested in video games and asking themselves, what is this new medium about? Is it just pure entertainment or can it be meaningful? Uh, games for Change was created by this group of people. I was very interested in this movement, uh, trying to support, trying to help, and a few years ago, Ago, we decided to create Games for Change Europe. One of the core values of our festivals or our events is that we bring together people from different industries, different backgrounds, um, where people are suddenly in a kind of magical bubble. The fact that I sent an email to David Sproxton, uh, which led to the fact that David decided to send Jake and to send people from Ardman to our festival, and uh, that I invited you and Fanny, and that he came, and that uh, something happened because these people met. Uh, of course, um, it, it makes me happy. Yeah, Jean-Michel is the man. He kind of single-handedly brings all of these people together. And he emailed Dave Sproxton and said, you know, you need to come to Games of Change, right? I had already expressed quite a big interest in, you know, being part of that scene and, you know, moving hard and into that scene. So I was like, yeah, cool, I'll go. <laughs> well, there were people from, you know, many different sectors. So, you know, you've got education, health, behavior change, and of course, the games industry. Yo was there speaking about his masterpiece, Valiant Hearts, which, you know, I was a big fan of. Really loved that game and really loved the kind of um, the depth of it and the fact that it went a little bit further than just you know tried to entertain me. Eleven Eleven is is one of those games. You know, it gives players you know a much more deeper experience and something that will actually you know last in their memories. You know, just like a really great film. Yeah, I, I think that video games can can do uh, much more than what he was doing previously. This game tries to say that. Nothing is black or white, and even more during war times. And by playing those two sides, you will discover how grey and blurry is the line. I think we, we don't want to teach something, it's not, a, it's not an educational game in any way, but we want to uh, raise awareness. Uh, a war is, is always the same, like we say, war never changes. It's not different, it's still there and it's still the same issue. A lot of games base their emotions on fear and exhilaration. So if they set it in war, it's about live or die, kill or be killed. Whereas this just, the war is the background. It's kind of the setting. We want people, players, to have a chance to feel a moment of being in those situations, to kind of get closer to their lives. And importantly, as part of this game, to see more than one side of uh, the things that have gone in the history. Something that gets lost a lot in the history is the kind of personal storytelling of it. You know, a kind of um, politics-free version of what actually happened. And 11.11 kind of does that. It's about the real people that were involved and the real struggles that they went through, the bonds that were created. Each moment within this game is driven by what do we want to feel right there and then. And that's kind of been gods to that moment. We've tried to build the mechanics and the visuals and all the play around how do we help you feel that moment. 11.11 probably aimed at people that really enjoy a game where they can dive in and be drawn on an emotional arc and through a, through a great story and it's there for people who are interested in this part of history. And all of us, I believe, we are under the influence of what I would call fixed mental attitudes, shaped by all this information that we get. I believe and I hope that 1111 will change these fixed mental attitudes so we can see the problems through the eyes 
of the other side. A video game has this power to be uh, very impactful because when you play someone, you, you are this person. So the impact on you is strong. Yeah, this is a, a big idea, but <laughs> I hope that at our tiny, tiny level, if we can make people think about war in a different way, and maybe if it could bring a tiny, tiny piece of, of peace in the world, it would be nice, we would have done a great job. If just one person in the world kind of played it and got to the end of it and felt deep emotion, felt a connection to that moment in history and walked away like being thankful and thoughtful and considerate and overwhelmed by actually quite what had happened in history, then we'd have done a great thing. And hopefully if we can do it with lots of people and bring this story, a really important story in our history, back to now, then would have done what I want to do with the game.